Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Creative Ball. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make a glass cleaning slasher, power forward with Hall of Fame playmaking badges. Now, when I was making this build, the player I was thinking of was Chris Webber. And Chris Webber is actually one of the most underrated players of all time in NBA history. Played power forward slash center. The one of the reasons why he's so underrated is because in the prime of his career, there were a lot of great power forwards especially in his conference that he played in. Like Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Dirk Nowinski. So those guys always got the recognition over him. But Chris Webber was a beast. He only played one year in college, but he played on the greatest college uh, basketball team of all time, the Fab Five. And then coming into the league, he was an absolute beast in the paint. But one of the things that really were overlooked about Chris Webber was one, he had great ball handling skills, he was a great passer, tremendous footwork, low post player. He was all around just a great player. Very, very solid rebounder. And that's the guy I was thinking of when I made this build. Now to make this build, what you want to do is you want to make him a power forward, of course. Give him any number you want, any name you want. The pie chart that you guys want to use is the red and yellow pie chart. That's going to give you the Hall of Fame playmaking badges as well as the Hall of Fame defensive badges. Now the pie chart you want to use for the physicals, you want to use the agility and vertical pie chart. This pie chart is going to give us that 80 plus speed and that 80 plus vertical. As you can see now it's only a 78 and 73, but when we get done making this build, those will go up. All right, for the attributes, you want to max out all his finishing except for post hook. Don't touch that at all. Leave that as nothing. Don't just leave it at 30. For shooting, we're going to go mid-range 71, free throw 77, post fade 72. His three-point shot, leave it at 42. Don't touch it. With this build, we won't even be shooting threes at all anyway. Now for playmaking, we're going to put his pass accuracy up to a 78. Max out his ball handle at a 65. And then we're going to put his post moves at a 75. Alright, now defense. We're going to put his interior defensive rating at 77. Go ahead and put his block rating up to a 67. Put his offensive rebounds to an 83. And his defensive rebounds to an 81. Now as you can see, we have 11 finishing badges, 8 shooting badges, 14 playmaking badges, and 12 defensive badges. All right, now with the body shape, you want to make it defined. You can actually make it a little bit bigger if you want, but I prefer defined. We're going to drop his height down to 6'8". And as you can see, when we drop his height down, his ball handle rating goes up plus 5. Puts his pass accuracy up plus 1. Puts his free throws up, his driving layup, and his driving dunk. Now you have an A driving dunk rating. Also, in his physicals, you can see his speed is an 81. He's got the 80 plus speed. His acceleration goes up, as well as his vertical. His vertical now is a 79. All right, now for the weight. This is what makes this build even better. We're going to put his weight up to 245 pounds, which is going to give him a lot of size. A lot of weight, hard to push around. It's gonna be 245 with an 80 plus speed, close to an 80 vertical. You know, putting the weight up, it did push the vertical down a little bit. But it, if you also look with the weight going up, it put his strength up to a 68. His interior defense is back up to a 78. So he's almost at an 80 rating for interior defense. 
almost a 70 rating for strength to go along with 80 plus speed and vertical. This is just a great build for real, y'all. Y'all just don't know, but y'all finna find out. All right, for the wingspan, we're gonna drop it down to an 81.0. With that, we're gonna get the plus two on the ball handle, which is gonna put us at 72. Plus two on mid range, which is a 73. And he'll still, even though his wingspan is a lot smaller than most bigs, he'll still be able to rebound with his 80 plus rebound rating. All right, you guys, now this is the icing on the cake right here. Choosing to take over for this build is game changing. What you want to do is you want to give him the play making takeover. And there you have it glass cleaning slasher, similar to Larry Johnson, Julius Randle, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> we just going to say Giannis. I know I've messed that up. <laughs> All right, we're about to go ahead and test this build out and what you guys see what it looks like at a 95 overall rating. All right, as you can see, this is our build that we just made. Once it hits 95 overall, the badges he gets. And as you can see right now, he has an 81 plus speed. He does have a 77 vertical, which is not 80. But when you play my career and you win a championship, and you get the gym rat badge, all your physicals will go up plus four. So you're looking at 85 speed, uh, 78 acceleration, 82 vertical, about a 73 strength rating, which is really good for a power forward. Because other builds that's going to be guarding him will not be able to keep up with him up and down the court. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my build. My build is already at a 95 overall. And I already acquired the gym rat badge. I'm gonna show you the badges I put on. Alright you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a glass cleaning slasher, play making Hall of Fame badges. Um, I will be making more tutorials in the future, so if you guys can hit the like on this video and sub to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Hope you all have a good day. See you guys later.